Hey guys, Mr. McLean again, and here comes GeoGebra number four. Uh, so again, GeoGebra.org, Geometry app, and I'm going to go ahead and show all the tools. Get this thing out of the way. Okay, so this one, we're going to use what we just learned in number three to do a construction. Basically, I'm going to say got a line and a point not on the line and we're going to construct another line that passes through C that's parallel to AB. All right, you ready for this? So here we go. I'm going to move this over a little bit and I'm going to move this out of the way and that's actually in a pretty good spot. All right, so we're going to end up with a line here that goes through C and it's parallel to AB. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start with this. And maybe you can already see what's coming here. It's something that we touched on the week before um, all this craziness started. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna get and construct a point a random place point here. And I'm going to use the compass tool. And set the radius to AD. And I'm going to drop it there. And then I'm going to get the same radius. So this is again, uh, in the contract classic constructions, you're really you're only measuring device as a compass, compass, Set the radius at AD, except I'm going to drop it at C. All right, it's a coincidence that that ended up being like that. I'll move the tools just so you can see that that's true. Hopefully those points aren't linked. Let's see. All right. So that was a coincidence. All right. Okay, again, can you see what's coming? What do you think it is? All right. I'm going to construct a couple of intersections here. And there we go. I scrolled too fast and it zipped right on by. I want this intersection and I want this intersection. All right, back to the compass tool. And I think I went the wrong way. There it is. It said, look at the jumps when I scroll. All right, I'm going to measure this. This should be seeming pretty familiar to you right now. What's going to happen here? Okay, center at D, radius D, E. And I'm going to drop it right there. Again, be thinking about it. You probably are seeing what's going to happen now. All right, I'm going to construct an intersection. Right there. And now construct a line and there we go. Now, if I wanted to compare these, well, maybe let's, let's get rid of, no, let's do this first. So move it around just so you can see if this thing actually works. Does it look like these two lines are always parallel? All right. I'm going to hide my circles. You should also be thinking about, again, what is it about the sequence of steps that guarantees that these lines are parallel? All right, I'm going to hide some objects here. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and measure the angles and confirm. I'm gonna measure, what's the name of this angle in relationship to the other one? What's the relationship between EAD and GCF? Let's move it a little bit and see what happens here. Let's see. Where did my point go that I can allow this to move around? Up oh, there we go. I don't know why D wasn't letting me, or E wasn't letting me move. 
So those angles are staying congruent. Okay, guys, I'm going to send you off and let you try to replicate that construction. Remember, straight edge and compass only, and be thinking about what is it about this sequence of steps that guarantees these lines are going to be parallel. All right, guys, good luck.